While you are going through your daily routines on Earth, engineers and scientists of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or GPL, in California are designing and testing robots to send to Mars. Among the thousands of staff members, Anais Zarifian and Armen Turian are also part of this groundbreaking project. Anais and Armen are both engineers at GPL, a research and development lab funded by NASA. Their work directly contributed to the latest Mars 2020 expedition. And I am a testbed engineer on Mars 2020, or the Perseverance rover at JPL. Um, I also do rover operations, so anytime we get data from the rover, um, I take a look at all the data that comes down from the rover's inertial measurement unit, or the REMU, um, which basically tells us how we're oriented on Mars and if we're safe to communicate with the rover. I was responsible for the system integration and testing lab and a number of engineers, close to 30 engineers, um, who were involved with testing and verifying that the systems were going to perform and function the way that we designed them um, in preparation for launch and landing and, and surface operations. The Perseverance rover landed on Mars in February 2021 after more than 200 days in space. The Mars 2020 Perseverance rover will search for signs of ancient microbial life, which will advance NASA's quest to explore the past habitability of the planet. The rover will collect samples of Martian rock and soil, then store them in sealed tubes for pickup by a future mission that would ferry them back to Earth for detailed analyzes. The mission before Curiosity, um, basically its mission was to prove that Mars was once habitable, that life could have existed on Mars, and the answer was yes. What the Mars 2020 mission, which is the Perseverance rover, is now looking for are signs of ancient life, um, so biosignatures on the surface of Mars that indicated that life did actually once exist. Mars is the easiest planet to get to when you're talking about uh, exploration of the solar system. It's depending on where we are in the orbit between 50 and 150 million miles away. Um, so you can get there in about six to nine months. There is hope that we'll be able to send people and that has a number of benefits. One, um, we're starting to understand the geology and the, the, um, the mechanisms by which that planet has evolved. And there are a lot of similarities to Earth. Um, there used to be liquid water. There were lakes, rivers. Uh, you probably could have drank the water if you were there millions of years ago. In Anais and Armen's opinion, what counts the most is the job they do on a daily basis that will help to know more about Mars. But the fact that there are Armenians like them within the NASA project is a source of pride. When I first started JPL, I was probably one of a handful of Armenians on lab and there's five, 6,000 people that work there. Maybe there was a couple dozen Armenians there. Um, but now I see Armenian names all the time. Uh, there's at least 20 or 30 that worked on this project on Perseverance. And I think there's well over a hundred that work there uh, in all, all different areas. So that makes me really proud. I'm very happy to see that, that you know, I. I'm happy to inspire the younger generation to, um, to go into exploration and science and technology and engineering. I think, it's, I think Armenians are really good at that. I think. Seeing the community in the diaspora and in Armenia react the way they did, you know, they're really proud that there are Armenians working on this project, right? And it's not just me, there, there are so many others. Um, it's just, you know, a great bonus, you know, it's like, our team has people from so many different countries and, you know, I'm proud and lucky that I get to represent, you know, an Armenian voice in this project. But working for the exploration of a planet, nationalities and differences are erased as the project becomes a matter of humanity at a global scale. People are just curious and will explore and expand as far as we can. Um, and, you know, I have no doubt that in the future, I don't know when in the future, but I have no doubt that we'll send people to Mars and there'll be habitats established there and things like that. So there's a lot of work 
that has to be done before that becomes possible. 